here we go. Baby, this is my time. Because Cheryl is serving me. She's not just doing her job because she get paid for it. It's, it's her spirit that's speaking out. The server is not ready to serve if they're not open to serve. If they don't know that they're supposed to be serving, everything is not going to work out. It's inside of you. She can't make me do nothing I want to do. I have to want it. So what I'm going to talk about is my why. I got four people that depend on you. But not just those four people, my community and my family. My family, I'm usually the rock, I'm usually the ghost of I'm usually that strong friend. So I needed for God to plant strong friends in my life that I can that can pour into me. Because when you a pillar in a community, you don't want to show your weakness. You don't want to talk to people about certain things because of their judgment. A lot of you guys and other people in the community are going to go through the same struggles and the same things that we have experienced as well. Yes. With that being said, whether you believe in God or not, I believe in God. But I believe that there's a higher power that's always going to challenge you and push you to challenge you to see how bad that you want this dream. Mm -hmm. Whether you're working for someone or you're not. You are all created on purpose. So with that, that's going to come challenges. It's going to come obstacles. It's going to come trials and tribulations. Because how bad do you want it? With you guys going after your dream, that's God working in you. Yeah, it is. Girl. With that, there's evil out there. The devil doesn't want you going after your stuff. The devil doesn't want you creating some kind of empowerment and flow within the community. He wants you to stay quiet. Come on. So with that, what is he going to do to keep you quiet? He's going to... <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to speak, y'all. No, I, I can feel the energy in the room, and yes. I, can, I know who's next and who needs to be. Like, it's just the dynamic of this group. Mm -hmm. So, I was supposed to go next. Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, you guys, listen, mental health is serious. Yeah. We all feel alone in our journey. Whether you feel that now or you felt it before, you're going to feel it. Being on this journey, listen, I thought that. I don't know. So I'm an Herbalife independent distributor, and I like. I thought it was common for there to be some kind of community. After I started networking with other individuals, I realized like I kind of was benefited a little bit more by having a community. I didn't realize that there isn't a community out there. So that's why I'm an advocate for for women empowerment. I grew up on the west side of town, Little Mexico, y'all. Yeah, Little Mexico. Little Mexico. Last name is Pedraza, but that's it. So I've been through a lot. When I say mental health is serious, I mean it's serious. And like I battle um, anxiety and depression. Sometimes it's hard for me to get up. Sometimes it's hard for me to want to speak into people. Sometimes it's hard for me to want to pour into self-care. Sometimes I feel like it's nothing but a winter. But I always remind myself that that's just the devil. Yeah. That, you gotta that's, say it. that's not real. Because God, listen, look, just like how Dave was saying that in our room, in your parent, in your mom, you guys were in your mom's room and God knew exactly what he was creating. He yeah. knew exactly what you would look like, like how the skin of you, like like exactly where you were going to go, exactly what you're going to do, exactly yeah. who you're going to be, exactly who you're going to power, yeah. exactly what you're going to, he knows everything about mm -hmm. you. He knows that power within you, and with that as well, like the devil's gonna come ten times full to keep you quiet. Yeah. So are you gonna let him be quiet? Well, he can be quiet, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so are you gonna put him to sleep? Because every single day it's a chance for you guys to go after your dream. But listen, it's gonna be hard along the way. Right now I'm going through. Take it down. <laughs> I'm going through one of the hardest things that I would not pray upon anyone right now, but you wouldn't know. I'm sitting here smiling, cheer everyone on. Y'all wouldn't know. Sometimes I have to, like, sometimes we got to be that strong person. We got to be that strong person for our mom. We got to be that strong person for our brother, for our sister, for our community. And it's hard. That shit is hard when you. But all you want to do is cry, and you can't control what's happening. And all you want to do is fix things, but it's literally out of your control. You can't do anything. What, so what can you do? You show up. Yes. You keep 
going. Because even though you can't control what's happening outside of you, you can control what you do, and you also never know whose life you're going to impact by just showing up. Go to the grocery store giving someone a compliment. You don't know what they're going through. Yeah. Yeah. That one compliment may have just stopped them from, from wanting to hurt themselves. Yeah. Doing that one post, that if y'all don't follow me on social media, every single day I do an affirmation and I post it, even when I don't feel like it. But I know that my one affirmation is going to empower someone. I don't know who, but I know that God is putting people before me so that I can help change them. Because listen, it's one thing to go and get a master's in psychology. It's another thing to actually go through this form because then you can actually help people with the experience. So whenever an obstacle comes before me, I'm like, okay, God, what are you teaching me? It's not why me. It's like, what am I learning? It's who am I going to empower? What's this lesson going on right now? It's always, it's always, it's always that. Every time I go, every time something hits me, I'm just like, okay, what am I supposed to learn here? Where am I supposed to go? Mm -hmm. What, what, what is, what, what is happening? And it's almost like, I'm sure all of us have said, when it rains, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I like challenge you guys, I challenge y'all to shift that. Yeah. <laughs> instead, of, instead of when it rains, of course, it's like, okay, clearly some heavy shit is happening right yes. here. What's about to be manifested mm -hmm. from yes. this? Yes. By me showing up, mm -hmm. by me being that strong friend, by me keep going. Listen, and I want to also tell you guys, it's okay to feel. Yes. We always, I, feel, I don't know what it is, and it's like moms or just women, like we just sometimes we feel like we're just too sensitive, and if we cry or whatever, then we're going to come across as weak and it's a tough yeah. world. No, cry. Feel what you got to feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Release it. Yeah. Why? Because your kids need you. Yes. Yeah. Your family needs you. Yeah. Your friends need you. And if you feel alone, the community needs you. By us showing up and showing out, we're showing women what's possible. Yes. By us showing up and showing out. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and listen, at the end of the day, we're not the only one that's going to go through this. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're not the only one. There's someone else out there that's weaker than us, but they need to see what's possible. And come on, show we what's possible. Our children, too. They need to see that. Yep. You get to show what's possible. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Feel how you got y'all cry. Listen, I have this weekend I've literally cried. So much. <laughs> I'm not counting. You can ask my boyfriend right here. We were supposed to go out to eat the other day and I just could not stop crying, so we couldn't go out to eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm about to eat. <laughs> Before, and this was years ago, I was so, and this is a time when I was very unconscious. I heard that tears are the words that we can't speak yeah, to heaven. The, the words that we can't yeah. speak, the words that we can't get out. Yeah. Let it out, y'all.